Hi, it's time for Good Energy and I'm Dr. Juliet Endeavor Health and Chiropractic. And today we're going to talk about when Good Energy in goes terribly wrong. So we already know about the healing equation. Good energy or energy to heal equals good energy in minus stressors. And I've been telling you all about how to get those good vibes in and what stressors to look for. And it seems to make sense that if you put something into your field that is good energy in to you, that you think it should be, uh, then there should always be a positive response. There should always be more energy to heal. And sometimes that's not the case. And it suggests that there's something going on a little bit further out. So I had just exactly one of those experiences. We had, as a family, gone uh, over to England to see my in-laws and come back. And we'd gotten back Sunday night, uh, about 10.30. Everybody had been up for 20 hours. Uh, was expecting everybody to sleep in. But with time change, you never do. Uh, we were up early. I was feeling great. It happened to be the first day of one of my favorite activities. So. Uh, the Chopra uh, Meditation Center does a 21-day uh, free meditation about six times, four to six times a year, and I think it's four. And I had said, hey, look at this title. It is Perfect Health. How awesome is it going to be to meditate for 21 days on the concept of perfect health? That has got to be good energy in. It's meditation, it's thinking about things that I really like doing, health, awesome. And I did the first day and it was great. And I felt awesome, got all the stuff done. I felt a little tired, not a big deal. And went to sleep at about 3.30 the next morning, I started to get a migraine. And for those of you who have migraines that last multiple days, you know that when it starts at three in the morning, it's not a good sign. <laughs> and so it started at three in the morning. I tried to do everything in my toolkit to get it taken care of. I did oils, I did rocks, I did meditation, I got adjusted, I got acupuncture, I took ibuprofen, I took homeopathics, you name it, I did it. And then I went to work. <laughs> and that didn't work out very well. Um, I had to come home early, um, the whole nine yards, nausea, vomiting, just pain. It was terrible. Um, I made it through the day, felt a little better the next day. <sighs> Started to come out of it. Three days go past. I haven't done meditation for three days. And then the next day is Friday, so I go to work work all day and by the end of the day I notice, hey, I've got a cough, I've got a cold, I've got grubbly bits in my abdomen and I'm like, oh, I just got over this migraine, what is going on? And so, Saturday, I was like, all right, because you can only go five days, they'll only save five days back. So if they started on Monday, by the time it's Saturday, they've only saved five days back. And I was like, Ugh, I am missed a day. I am just, you know, all the thoughts start running through my head. I really screwed this one up. This was really supposed to be all about getting onto this, getting good energy and feeling great. <clears throat> and here I go blow this. Well, grumpy, pissed off. Here's a case where good energy in was supposed to just have this positive effect and I got migraine, I got sick. I'm like, no, what's going on? And sometimes we really have to think about uh, stressors and good energy in. And so self-stressors, um, things that come up that aren't necessarily in your consciousness. So I wanted perfect health, but maybe at the time I wasn't feeling that I was worth it. I wanted perfect health, but maybe I was feeling guilty that I was gonna get it by just meditating 15 minutes a day. Um, I wanted perfect health, but here I am working on other people trying to help them get theirs and they're struggling. And so it's, 
it may have backfired because of me. It may have backfired because I didn't think that it was appropriate to have perfect health by just, you know, closing your eyes and listening to music and clearing your head for 15 minutes for 21 days. So sometimes we've got to dig into the reactions. If you start a new health regime and three, four days down the road, you feel like crap. And it's not just muscle crap. It's like getting a cold, getting sick, having migraines, having these very visceral responses that are opposite of what you are looking for. It can be the program that you're on, that you're on, totally can be the program that you're on, but it can also be your mindset. So even if all of this is good energy in, you may be telling yourself, I need good energy and I need perfect health, but in the back of your head is a mean girl that's sitting back there saying, well, you don't need it. You don't deserve it because there are other people that are more sick than you do. Or you don't deserve it because when you were two, you shoved your brother in a puddle and they had to go to the hospital because he couldn't breathe. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to figure out what unconscious thoughts are running through our head and that are not good. But if you try really hard to make a change in your health, and it ends up going backwards, it might be because there's a thought process that is telling you that you can't make that change. You aren't allowed to. So what do we do to figure this out? Well, you've tried to change, you've tried to cleanse, it cleanses are a little scary because they got extra chemicals in it, but you've tried eating healthily, you've tried a you know, new exercise regime, and all of a sudden you're getting colds and you're getting sick and you're getting digestive issues. Stop and say, ah, let's see if we can name it. First thing, name it. What's going on? Um, in my case, is it, am I worthy? Should I actually, is it a self-worth issue? It, it, am I worthy of perfect health? The mean girl running through my head doesn't like to think that that's actually possible. So every once in a while she and I have a battle and I clearly think this was a case where she won and I lost. Um, let's not think, I'm not stupid enough to think that jet lag didn't have any point to play in this, but the mean girl definitely stepped up, had some extra energy and took over. Um, if you can name what you are feeling and why you think it's not working, that is very helpful. Then if you can name it, you can go back and find its origin. And I already gave you some examples, especially with making health changes that you're not worthy um, because others feel worse, because you didn't have the best track record of health when you were growing up, you threw it away. So you should just throw it away now. Um, your bad girl voice says you don't deserve it because health is supposed to be really difficult. You're supposed to struggle. And so you can come up with maybe identifying these origins. So name the emotion that's going with this, come up with the origin of it, and then the really difficult part, which is let it go. Um, and if that were easy, everyone would be healthy. <laughs> and so you need to find something that's good for you. Journaling, um, tapping, massage techniques, energy techniques, uh, hypnosis, Therapy, all of these are great ways to get in there and take that named thing that you found the origin for and let it go. If you are a woman and you want to look into this a little bit more deeply, you can join us over in the Healing Equation private Facebook group. Type in the Healing Equation into your Facebook search. Uh, up will come the page. Please answer the questions in the group and then I will let you jump right in. We dig deeper into these concepts and we dig deeper into how to identify where these things are hiding in our body because certain emotions hide in certain places and they cause certain reactions in your system. So if you're interested, uh, come on over to the Healing Equation group. Sorry guys, um, you're left with watching these videos and listening or reading Good Vibes uh, Wednesday. I will be, um, in the near future, I will be launching another website called The Healing Equation, and it will have courses there for both men and women to take. It's not, it, I won't be prejudicial. Um, courses for people to take on 
putting good energy in it, how to work through some of this, um, how to work through some of this body stuff that is gathering with you for, from years and years of experience. All right, until next week, take care, have a wonderful weekend, and find ways to get good energy in. Bye.